day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. This week, we're channeling our inner late-night talk show host and wrapping the week's tech tip into a top 10, well, actually a top 8 list. So without further ado, here are the top 8 things you need to know about Job Boss and Windows compatibility. Number 8. Job Boss has been compatible with Windows 10 since the release of Job Boss 11.10. This includes using Windows 10 as a Job Boss server in small network setups, as well as using Windows 10 for Job Boss clients and workstation drivers. Number seven, Job Boss has been confirmed compatible with Windows 2016 and SQL 2016 for Job Boss versions 11, 12, and higher. So if you're on the bleeding edge of technology, that one is available to you as well. Number six, Job Boss generally follows Microsoft in terms of operating system and products it will support. What this means is that if Microsoft end of life's a product, the next Job Boss release will most likely not support that Microsoft product either. Similarly, most of the time, Job Boss will continue to support a Microsoft operating system or SQL version as long as Microsoft supports it. There are some small exceptions to that, but generally speaking, um, you can check out Microsoft's end of life and see when we are likely to end of life support for something as well. Tip number five. Now this is an important one that came up even long before current operating systems. Job Boss products must be run on a professional grade operating system. And basically what that means for you is just because you have a device like a tablet that's running Windows 10, uh, does not mean that it's compatible with Job Boss. It has to be running a professional version, either Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. So like the Microsoft Surface Pro is fine for Job Boss, the Microsoft Surface is not. Number four. If you plan to use SQL 2016 for Job Boss and the exact SQL backup utility for making your backups, there are special files that must be installed for compatibility. Now, those will need to be installed on your SQL server. They're very easy to install. They're very small to download. It's really not a big deal, but the exact SQL backup utility will not work without those extra files. See the Job Boss system requirements for details on what those files are. Number three, Windows 10 has made some significant changes to how users interface with Windows. So the Job Boss interface is, is the same regardless of what operating system you're using. But Windows 10 has definitely introduced some interesting changes to the Windows interface, including a revamped start menu, a new browser called uh, Microsoft Edge, and new features like Task View and Action Center. So while these things were all done in the interest of user friendliness, as with any change, they take some time to get used to, and it may be advisable to have any employees you're planning on converting to Windows 10 for their desktop to do a quick internet search on new features of Windows 10 and either do a little bit of reading, or there's probably some um, YouTube videos out there too that will go over the high levels just to let them know what to expect. Tech tip number two. Now this is an extremely important one as well, and that is that even though Job Boss may be compatible, compatible with a particular operating system or version of SQL, partner software that integrates with Job Boss is not necessarily compatible with that same operating system or SQL version. So for example, AutoView is not currently compatible with Windows 10. Or if you're a Synergy user, Synergy 257 is not compatible with Windows or SQL 2016. And the next version of Synergy 258 is only compatible with SQL 15, but still not Windows 2016. Now those things are as of today and could update as time goes on, but it's just uh, an important thing to remember when referring to the system requirements document for Job Boss, make sure you're not just checking the requirements for Job Boss proper, but also the requirements for any add-on modules that you own and use to ensure that you don't lose any functionality by upgrading your server or workstations. And the number one tip that we are offering today is try to avoid in-place upgrades to any Windows operating system if possible. 
in-place upgrades would be where you're already running a machine running something like Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you do have the option to go straight to Windows 10. Now Microsoft won't be happy to hear me say this but those upgrades generally do not end well for customers. Software that's installed, including Job Boss, oftentimes stops working after you do an in-place upgrade like that, and then you have to do things like repair or reinstall that software just to get it to work with the new operating system. This is, this is definitely a Windows thing, but Job Boss is impacted by it, uh, as well as other software. So wherever possible, the best idea and least headache is going to be to back up all of your data on that workstation, do a Windows 10 clean install of that operating system, and then setting your freshly, in, uh, freshly installed Windows 10 workstation with the software you want and, and restoring your files, etc. We recommend consulting with your local IT resources if you have any more questions on Windows 10 upgrades. And that concludes this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. Any additional information about system requirements and software compatibility can be found on the customer portal. And please, if you are considering an upgrade and have any questions, contact support or professional services. We would much rather answer a question for you in advance than have you experience an unhappy surprise on the other side of it. Thank you and have a great day.